So look, one day when I'm in like second grade or something, I'm on the playground, probably playing some borderline deadly game, when I notice out of the corner of my eye in the distance, there's a line of people near the library. When I say a line, I don't mean like the line you wait in before you order at McDonald's and lower your lifespan type of line. I'm talking like the line at a Disneyland ride type of line and the regular one too, not no cute fast pass line. Like there were so many people over there. The only time I'd ever seen that many people near the library was during the book fair when everyone's trying to spend their last dollar on some fart putty. Bruh. So I'm curious what's going on over there. I move over, ask some kid what the deal is, he goes, oh, we're in line to get a tattoo. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm like, tattoos? What is he talking about? So I move closer. Come to find out, these boys would take the buds off of this one tree by shaking it really hard and the bud had some liquid in it that you could squeeze out while drying some design and then cover the liquid with sand. The sand would stick to the wet part and once it dried the sand would stick to your skin and they called it a tattoo. So this goes on every day for like a full week. Business is booming for them. Now everybody's walking around with their sand tattoos and it kind of started to get to some people's heads, made them think they were a changed man, start acting all tough all of a sudden. Hey, what you doing at my table? I just got inked up. You don't want this problem. What is that? Like a squid? A deformed ladybug or something? Why are you disrespecting my ink like that? Now, I can't lie. At first, I was like, this trend is going to fall off in two days. But every day at lunch, that line just kept getting longer and longer. Finally, I'm like, I got to go see what all the hype's about. So I wait in this long line, finally get to the front. The guy's like, where's your payment? I'm like, hold up, you gotta pay for this? The dude's like, chill, chill, chill. You just need to bring me a certain amount of the tree buds that they used to draw the design back to him. Which, looking back at this payment system, they charge you in tree buds, but then use them on someone else who gave them more tree buds, which they used on another person. Like, what's the business model here? There's no profit involved anywhere. So anyways, I go back and rip some of the buds off the tree, bring it back to them. He's like, okay, what you want? I don't know why, but I told him to draw a ninja. So he starts going crazy drawing this ninja. My man looked like he had unbreakable focus during this. Uh, he seemed like he knew what he was doing. But keep in mind, the span of things you can make with some tree juice, combined with the fact that a second grader is the artist that didn't even know what a tattoo was until like a year ago, is gonna be trash, straight garbage. So the ninja that I asked for turned out something like, Oh, what is that? And then the sand just kind of smudged everything around, made it even uglier. But the biggest problem with these tattoos, see a tattoo is supposed to be permanent. These ones would just start to fall off once they dry. Five minutes after everyone got back to class, sand starts to like fly off everybody's arms. Of course, the teachers start to notice their classrooms turning into beaches. They find out what's going on, start trying to shut the whole thing down. They're threatening detentions and all this type of stuff to anyone caught with a tattoo or giving a tattoo. They're like inspecting us before we enter the classroom. So now this can't be done in the open anymore. It became an underground business. They can't be outside the library like before. They're changing locations every day, trying to stay low key. Oh, give me an entire sleeve. Are you working for the other side, trying to take me out? Everyone starts getting paranoid. No one was trying to catch heat with any of the teachers. These tattoo stands went from business is booming, and in a matter of like three days, boom, the teachers are driving all of them out of business. The whole class thought these tattoo stands were like the next greatest thing. Psych! But pretty soon, the teachers got their way, and to put it simply, they became a thing of the past. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like the animation. I'm gonna try and start getting these out more frequently. I know in the beginning, it was like over a month between videos, but the last few have been like two weeks, like two, three weeks apart. So hopefully, I'll see you guys again soon in the next one. We're getting closer to a thousand subscribers too, so subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next one.